Yeah, really excited. Um, I really enjoyed the competition last year. I thought it was uh, a great tournament. Uh, good to see so many people in the grounds and the stadiums and enjoying some, some top cricket. So, um, yeah, hopefully the team we can play well and, and push to go all the way. Yeah, it's good. Um, England's about minus one, minus two at the minute, so it's nice to be out here. Um, and yeah, it's a great place to be. Yeah, yeah, it's a fantastic setup here. Um, love staying at Pearl Valley. It's a bit of a treat. So um, yeah, we're really settled in well and looking forward to the competition starting. Yeah, I think everything, to be honest. I think South Africa is a fantastic country. Um, I think all the people coming out to watch the tournament last year, so good to see so many people in the stadiums and supporting the teams. Um, obviously, there's a big IPL influence here as well with um, the partnerships from uh, throughout the franchises, um, which brings a lot of eyes from, from India, which obviously is you know, the, the place where people love the cricket the most. So um, that brings a lot to the tournament. Um, some great overseas players here um, playing their trade, and, and it's a nice mix of that domestic talent and international players. So a uh, fantastic competition. No, not at all. My main aim for the tournament is to enjoy it. Um, you know, the last few months, um, obviously, we had a tough World Cup with England, which uh, is a bit draining and not that enjoyable. So I uh, just want to come here and really uh, let myself go, enjoy my cricket, um, enjoy everything the country has to offer off the field as well. Um, and uh, yeah, try a few things and just let myself go and, and have a good time and try and contribute to some wins. And uh, in terms of the team uh, gelling and training together, how's, how's that gone so far? Yeah, really well. Had the team's had a couple of good warm-up matches uh, against the Netherlands. Um, everyone's been here for a week or so and uh, there's obviously quite a lot of <coughs> similar faces from last year, guys you know, get, who know each other well and, and had a good time together last year. So, uh, yeah, everyone seems very settled and uh, looking forward to the first match. Awesome. Yeah, I think, um, you know, as you get to this sort of stage of my career as a senior player, it uh, becomes quite natural that you, you want to help out the younger boys and uh, share some experiences, be a, a sounding board, be open to lots of questions if they have anything that you feel like you may be able to, to help them with. Um, and I think that's one of the really enjoyable bits of franchise cricket and um, you know, get to rub shoulders with lots of different players. Um, you know, I can learn lots from different players here and, and hopefully maybe I can help a few guys out uh, with their development and their, their cricket journey as well. So um, you know, everyone's a winner. Yeah, he's, um, he's a positive player. He's obviously been in some great form uh, for England in, in the Caribbean. Um, and I know him and Will Jacks had a, a really strong partnership in the tournament last year. So, um, yeah, but uh, you know, so you've got to find a way to contain these guys and take their wicket, you know, try and get them out before they cause too much damage. So um, no, we've got a really strong bowling attack. And you know, in this tournament, you're always coming up against good players. So um, you know, that's going to be the challenge throughout the competition. Yeah, it certainly helps. Obviously, everyone wants to get that first win under their belt um, early on in the season and sort of sets you up nicely. Um, you know, T20 can be one of those games where you can sort of ride that momentum and it can um, take you throughout the tournament. So, uh, yeah, we look forward to, to playing. We want to make our home ground a bit of a fortress and, and a, be a tough place to come and play for the opposition. So, uh, yeah, hopefully we can get off the mark tomorrow. Well, the thing that I'm most looking forward to is obviously working with the boys. Um, you know, it's too nice. It's nice to see to see see new players coming in, and to also see familiar play, uh, players. Um, you know, this environment is so good. He's just looking forward to to coming back into this environment, and I'm I'm just glad for the opportunity to come back and work with, work with the boys. Well, you don't rectify the loss. You, you you identify areas where you feel like you can be better, and those are the things that we're focusing on. You know, come come this season, and hopefully, you know, when the season starts, we've covered all bases. Really, really well. Um, you played a couple of games against the Netherlands. Uh, we've, we've got like a blueprint that we're working on um, and a strategy that we're working on from a bowling point of view and from a batting point of view. And then it was nice to see how everything comes together. You know, when things don't go well, these are the solutions. When things go well, we stick with it and stuff like that. So it was really nice to see. I'm really happy with where the players are at. Listen, if we we're not here to win, it wouldn't be here. And I think. Um, we, we, we want to go all the way and, and actually push for that trophy. That's what we're looking to do. Yeah, yeah that, that, that will be something that obviously we will chat about every time. And I think managing players' um, recovery and all that stuff is going to be very, very big for us. And um, yeah, and we've chatted about it. We're trying to cover all bases. We don't want to leave any stone unturned. And hopefully, you know, through the chats and the conversations, we'll come up with a perfect formula for us to, to get to where we need to get.
approach you? Well, bad balance, good balance, you only see when you win games or lose games. You know, you can always think that you've got the right balance and you don't win games. Or you might think that you don't have the wrong, the right balance and then you win games. At the end of the day, you know, we just want to make sure that we've got the best team on the field all the time. Um, based on our game plan, based on our strat. Uh, and from that point of view, I think we'll be fine. Yeah, I think it's important that we find a good mix between experience and new players. And then it also helps if you've got young, good players. I mean, guys like Mitch, really, really talented. And I think, given the opportunity, these guys will do well for us. And if you find that mix of international players and local players doing well, that is a good formula for you to win competitions like this. Well, not only the belief, you know, just, just knowing that if you prepped well, that's all you can do, and just give it your best. Yeah, I mean, we, we, we've always proud ourselves in terms of, you know, uh, playing uh, attractive cricket and aggressive cricket. We've got the personnel for that and hopefully the people enjoy the cricket, that, uh, the brand of cricket that we bring this year and then hopefully, you know, we can celebrate together uh, when we win that uh, final. Yeah, I've already started to see the benefits of it as well, you know, and um, for these players to come and brush shoulders with top international players, it's priceless. And um, you know, for me as a coach also to, 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 to brush shoulders with the guys like Bond and Shane Bond and all the other coaches, have conversations with them, it's only going to bowl well for South African cricket because we take all that we learn, we take it back to our franchises and then ultimately cricket grows as, a, as, an, eco, as, a, as an ecosystem within our, uh, within our country. Um, honestly, that call up uh, came obviously as a surprise. Um, you know, it was just December for me, a normal December. And then obviously um, got a few calls to say um, there's a few guys that pulled out of the SA20, so they'd love me to join. I mean, when I got that call, obviously I was very excited. Um, and even now, I mean, I'm, I'm still excited and happy to be part of this uh, journey and part of the Royals family. Is there any specific opponent you're looking forward to facing? <laughs> um, wouldn't really say. I mean, I'm just honestly grateful for the opportunity to be uh, part of such a big tournament. Um, obviously, I'd love to um, get my name out there and obviously um, just show the, the work I've put in the couple of years and couple of months. And any of the... Yeah, definitely. Um, I can definitely say uh, Shamo. Shamsi, uh, he's definitely taken me under his wing. Um, we speak a lot um, on and off the field. Um, at first, I was obviously shy to, to obviously just introduce myself to him, but um, after I got to know him, I mean, he's such an easy guy to talk to. So we actually share some stuff, and it's 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 very easy, you know. Um, it's been it's been nice. I've enjoyed it. Um, <laughs> I mean, obviously, bowling to them is, is, is really exciting. These are international players we're talking about. Um, and I mean, honestly, it's a dream come true for me um, to be working with such world-class players. And every time in the nets, I mean, it's, it's exciting, you know, because before you watch these guys on TV, it's guys you grew up watching, and then now you're actually in the same change room with them. So it's very exciting. Yeah, definitely very exciting. I mean, every morning, uh, even when I wake up, you know, I still, I still appreciate every moment. You know, um, obviously, this is these are things uh, you, you dream as, you know, you dream of as as a kid growing up. So I can't say I've never not seen myself in this situation because it's it's what I obviously dream about and work to. Um, so it's 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 really good having guys that are obviously international, working with them, uh, sharing ideas with them, um, just obviously to learn and obviously taking as much as I can from them. Um, I think definitely with me being a wrist spinner, I think I definitely do add um, something different. Um, obviously, that's only time will tell, you know, um, through what I obviously produce for the Royals team. And Honestly, it's, it's, I can't wait to get started because, I mean, I've learned so much already in this short space of time that I've been here. So I can't wait to get going. Definitely is. I mean, it's really big help because these guys are the first people when I 
got to Joburg that I obviously met. So having them around is obviously making things a little bit easier for me, if I can put it that way. It's very hot, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> um, it's very hot, but I mean, obviously, um, it's hot in Joburg as well, so um, I'm, I'm adapting to it. Um, but I mean, luckily, most of our games are at night, so it is a bit cooler later in the night. So yeah, should be fun.